Imagine a man so full of hatred for America that almost all the biggest terror attacks in the last 20 years can be traced back to him. Almost all of them. Hey guys, my name is Sucharita. This is Film Companion. You are watching Not A Movie Review and right now I am not going to be reviewing Omerta. Omerta tells the story of Ahmed Omar Syed Sheikh. From when he first decided to drop out of London School of Economics in the early 90s to move to Pakistan and become military like as a training expert to today where he is in a jail in Pakistan awaiting a judicial hearing for his involvement in the killing of American journalist Daniel Pearl. In 2002, he was listening to his death and he is still waiting for it. Omar Sheikh's name is the first time of my generation when Kandahar was hijacking. Remember, there was a plane in Nepal around New Year's Eve 1999 when suddenly the impending doom of Y2 K was overshadowed by the heinous crime that unfolded over seven days. I can't be very certain, I don't know if I remember it or not, but when all the hostages were released, I remember watching a live telecast or news. Anyway, this name is remembered. If you read Omar Sheikh's Wikipedia page, you will know more or less what his major crimes have been and how he went about doing them. Which is kind of what the movie also is. Is the story written by first-time writer Mukul Dev? Yes, yes, yes. This guy, the very same, was first suggested to Hansal Mehta in 2005. लेकिन क्योंकि तब इंटरनेट ज़्यादा था नहीं, इसलिए रिसर्च प्रॉपर हो नहीं पाई, so the movie had to wait. But now that we've seen it. Research abhi bhi zyada dikhi nahi mujhe. There's not much in the film that I didn't already know about the man. 94 ke foreign tourist ki kidnappings, is bande ka capture aur fir release after the hijacking, 9-11 mein iski involvement, Daniel Pearl ka murder, Mumbai terror attacks ki saazish. It's a lot to put in one film, sure. Is liye, it felt like, you know, most of this aise na oopar oopar se one line mein explain kar diya hai. Kahi bhi the film doesn't really delve deep into like, you know, his mind. Hansal Mehta has chosen a rather observational style of storytelling. That means, this man is a man, this man has done this. But it happened to him that this felt more like a cinematic retelling of a Discovery Channel documentary than the kind of deep dive into human psyche we've come to expect of Mr. Mehta. You know, Shahid, Aligarh, City Lights, they're all masterpieces to say the least. Even Simran, there were a lot of difficulties in that film, but there were also the Proful's character issues, his struggle, his zid. Everything was in detail that Kangana Ranaut had to get 600 kilos of material for Kangana Ranaut. Here, I felt like there was always a constant barrier between the audience and Omar Sheikh, which never really comes down. We're shown that there's one short speech by an unnamed man on someone's terrace that led Omar to change his mind from wanting to join a peace mission to learning how to train in warfare. Several religious and extremist leaders later, Omar is ready to start on his first mission. Mr. Mehta shows us the process acted out perfectly by the incredible Rajkumar Rao obvs. But he also seems to be content with merely matter-of-factly observing Omar Sheikh's transformation and not really deep-seated reasons behind it. You know, the evil that has to be inside a man that it took him such little convincing to become a killing machine. At this point, Rajkumar Rao is the best actor of our country. I'm not doing any big deal here. Here also, for one second, you can't afford Raj's acting. One scene, he's such a... Like, Vaishi. I won't even tell you what scene it is. Wait and see in the picture. It's fun. But his British accent, really. Not so exemplary. Raj seems to have worked super hard on really sounding the part. But the accent slips in many places. It's patchy. And like I said, motivations aren't very convincing for the character that's been given to him. So, Raj's performance isn't as moving as pretty much anything he did in 2017, tragedy ho ya comedy. Hansal Mehta's attention to detail is to be lauded. Omar's getaway car in India, wo Omni van, carries the digit 786 in the number plate, the clothes everyone's wearing, the pan stains on the walls, Omar's glasses, his disappointment ki jail mein jab kaidi jo hai, rose nahi rakhte, and the whole support cast, everybody's on point. So, at various points, he cuts to real-life footage from news coverage when Omar's various terror activities went down. His release after the Kandahar hijacking, his photos flashing on TV, and real actual stills from Daniel Pearl's abduction with him in that infamous bomber jacket. I mean, all the real people's photos and footage come in the middle of the beach, randomly, which usually show in the end credits. I don't understand why Mr. Mehta decided to use real faces smack in the middle of a movie where we are watching an acting performance which has us all convinced. But one of the real Omar Sheikh's face only served as a reminder that you are actually watching Rajkumar Rao acting. I don't know, I don't understand. Omerta is really good storytelling, but primarily because the story in itself is so good. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, Omerta is 
सोलह साल से बंदा जेल में है सोलह साल एक बार पढ़ना उसका विकिपीडिया पेज यार क्या क्या गुना किया है आदमी ने पेड प्रिव्यू में देखिए मैंने मेरेटा पता है हजार रुपए के दो टिकट खरीद के आप फ्री में सब्सक्राइब कर लो राइट हेयर ऑन यूट्यूब फिल्म कंपेनियन